Death is always awaiting me upon my path. Like trees neatly lining the roadside, casting dark shadows at my feet. Even if I manage to overcome them and make progress down that path, when I turn around, the cruel truth is waiting there. The shadows are a procession to my own funeral. To live means to continuously die. Every human is nothing but a walking corpse. And so, I too am dying in this moment. doesn't seem to be moving at all. And the management company isn't responding either. I guess we just have to wait. If you wait long enough, everything will come to an end. Just as there is rain unceasing, a day will come when the sun doesn't rise, and when the oceans dry up too. One day, you will die, and so will I. Is that supposed to be a joke? How can you talk about death in this situation? I'm not enjoying this situation enough to make light jokes about it. I think I'd find things a bit more enjoyable if I wasn't trapped in here with you. I apologize if I've... offended you. I wish to avoid all unnecessary fights. Same goes for me! Uh, sorry I raised my voice. I'm not used to situations like this. Nor am I. We found something we agree on. Aren't you afraid? Afraid? Of all this? We're stuck in an elevator, hanging in midair. What if something happens and we fall to our deaths? I... don't think I'm afraid. What if the elevator is never fixed and we're trapped here forever? Then it'll be like a coffin. I actually think it would be rather cozy. I could just sleep here until I die. What's with you and your death wish? It's not like I intended to have one. It's hard to describe. Thinking of death is like... breathing to me. Do you find it fun to live like that? Isn't that what life is all about? There are things that I find fun. For example, I love reading stories. For some reason, I feel more alive when I can invest in a story's protagonist. I also love gazing at the beauty found in nature. Seeing plants sway in the breeze brings joy to my heart. You sure are a strange one. Am I? What about you? What makes you happy? Well... I suppose I like to observe life. Observe life? I used to be a nurse. I've seen many lives saved and lost at the hospital. Life should be more precious than diamonds, but some people are treated more poorly than a pebble on the road. Isn't that strange? A life is a life. So why should its value be different depending on the person? So now, whenever I look at people, I watch their lives. I wonder how valuable each life may be. 
You're also kind of strange. Am I? Speaking of which, I didn't catch your name. I'm Vivia. Who are you? I'm Rio. Rio? I think we may have met before. Do you remember? Hey, Vivia. Everyone else is out on a job. How long are you gonna stay there? Until... I die? You gotta be kidding me. Do I have to pull the pieces of you out of there once you're a skeleton? If you have free time, why don't you help work on some unsolved cases? Chief, do I look like I have a lot of free time to you? You look like you're so bored you could die. Look, just hear me out as a way to kill time. There have been a series of suspicious deaths lately. People jumping to their demise from a certain building. The first one was over five years ago, and people have been periodically jumping ever since. There's been over ten confirmed cases. What's suspicious about that? They came across a building to jump off of when they happened to feel like dying. That's probably all there is to it. That could be true for one or two cases, but over ten times in the same spot? That's unusual, no matter how you look at it. Are you suggesting someone is pulling the strings behind the scenes? We won't know until it's investigated. It'd be an absolute nightmare if someone is getting their kicks killing people and making it look like suicide. For the sake of the town's safety, it's not something we can ignore. That's where we come in. There's no point in investigating it. All we will find is boring reality. No matter how boring it is, it's still reality. There's value in finding it. Detectives are such troublesome creatures. Aren't you one too? Huh? Don't look at me all surprised. Why'd you come here if you're no detective? Aren't you here to solve mysterious crimes and help those who are lost? Uh... He asked me why I came to this town. I don't understand it myself. I'm not actively searching for a place to die just yet. I'm not here to be a detective searching for the truth. It's nothing so pure or sincere. The reason I came to this city was due to my impatience with living. What did I seek by coming here? What do I expect from this place? a woman in a red raincoat. That reminds me, the chief did mention something. Around the building where the suicides occur, a suspicious woman in a red raincoat has often been spotted. I'm not interested in the truth, but I am interested in her. I should try to tag along behind her without being spotted.
I see. This is the perfect building for dying. We've met before? Are you sure about that? I don't remember you at all. Are you sure it was me you met? There's no mistake. You have that smell. Smell? You smell faintly... of death. W what do you mean by that? That's rather rude. Do you live... In this building? Yes. Why? Uh -huh. From what I've heard, there hasn't been anyone living in this building for a long time. Who said that? Oh, was it the people around here? They probably have a grudge against this place. They say the building blocks the sun, or that it's sinking into the bedrock. What about all the people who have fallen to their deaths from this place? Is that nothing but a groundless rumor, too? <laughs> of course it is. But it isn't. It's fact. Even the newspapers have articles about it. If you live here, then you must have heard about it. Many unsolved cases in the city have been completely left alone. Of course, this has nothing to do with me. I have no interest or desire to know the truth. However, I am somewhat interested in you. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? I suppose you could take it that way. I see. To be honest, I'm interested in you too. Although it's more that your life force makes me curious. It's... how do I put this? Faint. Thinner than paper. Almost as though I can see death waiting on the other side. I could say the same about you. Hmm. Sheesh. This is a hassle. I guess I'll get to the point. You killed them, didn't you? I... did it? You lured people from the city here and pushed them off the building, making it appear like suicide. Why did you kill them? There's no benefit in it for you. For fun? You wanted to see them die? Or did you develop a special interest in the value of people's lives? If so, that makes you a serial killer. <laughs> Me? A killer? Well then, I guess that means you're trapped inside an elevator with a killer. Strangely, I've found myself in situations like this often. Whether I want it or not, Death finds its way to me. You're not afraid? Afraid? No, it's more like... Observing from a great distance as dark clouds slowly spread out over the ocean. I don't quite get it, but it doesn't sound joyful to me. Though, you were like this from the very beginning. Truth be told, I can tell when someone has a death wish. I sense their desire to go to the other side. Yes, you remind me of them. The other side? Did all those you lured here feel the same way? Lord? You're mistaken. I didn't do anything myself. I was just... here. People like you happen to show up here, then they depart to the other side on their own. 
You really want to insist that you weren't involved? That all those who died came here of their own accord? That's right. Aren't you the same way? Me? Perhaps. I want to die someday. And perhaps this is a fitting place for it. The view here is nice, don't you think? That's certainly an added benefit. Hmm. The journey here wasn't easy. The things are just getting started. Vivia, let's save Kanai Ward. Together. That's not why I came to this city. Right. I'm counting on you then. Wait, 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 what did you say? Did I mishear you? I don't care what happens to Kanai Ward. And I have no intention to obey orders from the WDO either. I just want some peace and quiet. A calming place where time will gently pass by. What are you talking about? You're not gonna find that here. The only place you can find perfect peace is heaven. And the only ones who can reach it are the dead. Wait, don't tell me you... Just leave me alone. I can't do that. We need your help. Hey! Vivia! I've always been able to see the dead. And what they tell me is always true. The truth has been exhausting for me. For as long as I can remember. Even when I cover my eyes and ears, their voices continue to whisper it to me. Please, be quiet. No matter how much I beg for it, the calm will never come. Where's the perfect peace? It's found in death. Ah, there's the look. Everyone who steps into this elevator has the same look in their eyes. They want to escape reality as soon as possible. They don't care where they end up, as long as they can get away. This elevator will take you to your desired exit. The path to the other side. And it's your job to see them off? You've seen so many on their way from here. It's like you are the guide to the afterlife. So what if I am? Aren't you similar? Hmm. Perhaps that may be true. It moved. Life is like this elevator. Once it moves, it will not stop. I can hear them. Hey, Vivia! Where are you? Hey, Vivia! Where are you? That voice. Do you recognize it? Oh. No. If you have any attachments in this world, I suggest you don't depart. Attachments? If that's the case, why did you go to the other side? Huh? The first of those who died was a woman wearing a red raincoat. Her name was Ryo. It was written in a newspaper article. Why do you still ride this elevator, even after death? Isn't it because you're still attached to this world? Uh, who are you? You don't seem like an ordinary human. I'm a regular detective. 
I just happen to have one foot on the other side. I see. Still, you surprise me. You knew I was already dead. I told you in the beginning, and you smelled of death. <laughs> you did. You are responsible for stopping this elevator. Using some spiritual power, or whatever. You haven't been guiding the suicidal to the roof of this building. You've been stopping the elevator in an attempt to make them reconsider. You sure are a mean one. You knew all along. Did you try to save them? Yes. As I'm sure you know, I haven't been able to stop a single one. More than ten, and I've watched all of them go. That's why I think it's my fault. Because I chose this place for my own death, it's become rather famous for suicides. I was just tired of living. I wanted to go somewhere far away from this place. But you regret it. Yes. That's why I always stop the elevator whenever someone comes here. So I can speak to them. But I've never been able to convince them otherwise. All I've done is provide some time to think things over. Everyone who comes here has claimed none would be saddened by their deaths. I've never been able to get them to recant those words. That should be expected. After all, it is the truth. Everyone must overcome the death of others to keep on living. No one can remain in place and look back every time. Is that so? We're almost to the roof. From here on, I can do nothing to stop this. Please listen. Even if you get to the roof, don't step out onto the floor. Why? Because they will try to take you. As long as you don't listen to them, you'll be able to shake it off. That's because you're here to investigate what happened, not for your own death. I don't know about that. The moment I got on the elevator, I think I made up my mind. No! You must be determined to survive! Otherwise they will take you! Life and death. I fail to see the border between the two anymore. They both overlap. I can no longer tell which one is the real me. Then please, think of the people you will leave behind! You must have some in your life. Are you really going to depart without saying farewell to them? There must be someone you'll regret not saying goodbye to. If I had someone like that, I wouldn't be here. I have no one. We need your help. Isn't it cool to have a detective agency in a submarine? If you ever have trouble here in Kanai Ward, just come on by. The other detectives and I will always have your back. In exchange, you better watch out for us, too. What a pain. If you ever need something, let me know. I want peace and quiet. Huh? I want to be left alone. There's no way I can do that. We're pals, aren't we?
Vivia, you've barely eaten a thing since you came here. You're looking kind of emaciated. I'm eating well enough. That's not for eating, that's for reading. Same thing. How could they be the same thing? Do you hate the food in this town or something? The hotel restaurants offer lots of different choices. I'm sure you'll find something you can eat. Alright, today's my treat. Let's go get dinner at a restaurant. Why bother with all that trouble? I wish you'd leave me alone. I can't do that. I may not look it, but I can be pretty persistent. You told me one thing, so now I have to do the opposite. That's just how I am. That's what made me the detective I am today. <laughs> Don't wish for death! At this rate, you'll be taken away! They're growing stronger! Each new one makes them more formidable! They will even take hold of the living! We've arrived! They're coming! So death awaits me. you are. I'm a ghost. No way! However, in my case, my body still lingers in this world. What does that mean? Who are you? I've already told you. I'm an ordinary detective. I just happen to have one foot on the other side. I decided to come here in my ghost form to try talking to you. And thanks to that, I can't be dragged out of here. Really? I don't quite understand. But you sure are a mysterious person. I wouldn't mind walking away on my own, but I refuse to let someone take me away from here. That is not the peace I desire. So you've reconsidered? There is no need for you to be imprisoned here. I think your atonement has been fulfilled. Isn't it about time you sever your attachments here? I want to remain behind. I need to ensure they don't take anyone else who comes here. Not everyone is as strong as you are. I'm not strong at all. I've just grown used to death. Also, will the elevator move again? Or is it stuck on the roof? Yeah. Until someone pushes the button. Vivia! Are you there? 
That's Chief Yako. He's not here? Damn it. I'm at the wrong place. I thought he'd come here to investigate. I'm so exhausted. He took the stairs all the way to the roof to chase after the elevator. He must have been worried about you. I've watched over ten people depart, but he's the first one I've seen come looking for the dead. You have a place you can return to. Perhaps that's the difference between us. Honestly, I don't care for all the noise. I'm rather envious of your world. However, if you have a place to return home to, you should. Home, huh? I find myself hesitating. I don't know which path I should take. Isn't it obvious? Hey, Vivia! Where did you go? Please, go back to him. I'm sure he's waiting for you to return. Vivia! I was looking all over for you. You had such a solemn look on your face when you left, so I had a hunch. What happened? I got... a bit lost. Getting lost at your age? Then again, you didn't come to this city that long ago, so... I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go back to my awesome agency office. Death is always awaiting me upon my path. Like trees neatly lining the roadside, casting dark shadows at my feet. Even if I manage to overcome them, make it to the end of that path. When I turn around, the cruel truth is waiting there. The shadows are a procession to my own funeral. To live means to continuously die. Every human is nothing but a walking corpse. And so, I too am dying in this moment. However, as long as I continue to travel this path, I may enjoy some peaceful scenery. Beyond the truth. Perhaps the peace I desire can be found there. <laughs>